Cheers, family. What's up, everybody? Richard Prophet, The Last Dragon. And welcome back to the Prophet Rolex and Real Estate channel. Um, all right, so today's topic, we're going to talk about rich people buy time, right? Uh, like, that's... All right, that's like the the main thing to buy time, right? Um, Prophet, you're crazy, and no one can buy time. Okay, I'm gonna discuss that here, and we're gonna talk about it. And at the end of this video, you tell me if you still feel the same way, right? Um, everything, everything, any rich person's whole deal is to buy time, right? Um, so, and people say, oh, money can't buy happiness. Uh, you know, that's the biggest, uh, you know, stupidity, uh, stupid. Uh, you know who created that? That saying, rich people created that and forced that down poor people's throat so that they wouldn't revolt. In my opinion, right? So... Let's go over a few things. So, when are you happy, right? You go on vacation with your family. You spend time with your family. You spend time with your friends. You spend time with your loved ones. How do you do that? That costs money, you know? That freedom to go go ahead and go out on vacation with your family costs money. That time that you're spending on vacation, whether it's a week, 10 days, two weeks, or the month of July, that vacation cost money. That time cost money. So your money bought that time for you to have that little bit of happiness uh, in that vacation, right? So you bought that time and you bought that happiness. So what do you mean money doesn't buy happiness? There you go. Uh, another example, right? Money buys freedom, right? Rich people are after freedom. The whole thing is freedom. You want to be free to do the things you want to do. And uh, that costs money. You buy that with money. So money buys freedom and freedom is happiness, right? Any Anybody that has freedom is happy. I, I, you know, I don't have to plan my vacation. You know, you have a city job, whatever, New York City. Um, you have to plan your vacation at the beginning of the year. So you have to plan your vacation a year ahead. How do you know uh, that you want to go to, you know, wherever, the Bahamas for a week? Uh in March, you know, the dates that no one else has. You know what I mean? I, I think that's ridiculous. That's absurd uh, just to live your life like that. I don't want that. You know, that that's not freedom. That That's shackles. To me, I that would be living a life in shackles. And I was there. I've been there. But I didn't want that. So, you know, I took money to buy freedom, which in turn, freedom is happiness. So... My money bought me the time, bought me the time, bought me the time that I wanted to go on vacation. Now, how I go on vacation, you know, Cookie tells me two, three days before, four days uh, before, hey, let's go to Puerto Rico. And we just, we book it and we go. That's freedom. That's the time to do what you want to do. And that's what money buys. I mean, even the whole thing about being rich, being wealthy, is to buy time. I mean, if you if if you think that money doesn't that rich people don't buy time, you're broke. You're broke, and I guarantee you, you're broke. Take a look at yourself. You're broke. You're broke in. Your soul is broken. You 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 know they broke your back into thinking that you can buy time. You can. You can. <sighs> Listen, man. Uh, when my when my when my when my little buddy, you know, when my little buddy got sick, um, 
you know, it, uh, you know, they said that this was, thank you, they said that this was the end or whatever, but I could have did this and I could do that to, to give him a little more time. And then after I did that, I would have to come back every month. Thank you. I would have to come back every month to, uh, you know, for other visits or whatever at, you know, a charge. So, uh, you know, we did everything we could, even though he was terminal, we did everything we could. And I gave him another year. I, you know, I put another year on his life, which, which, which if I was broke, I couldn't do, I couldn't have bought, you know, even... Even though, you know, he passed, he was taken from us, but I bought him another year because I could, because I had the money. Uh, now, if you didn't have, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 to spend, you know, on, on a surgery or on, on, on the monthly visits and you couldn't do it, he would have died that year. You know, he would have died that year because you were broke. Because you were broke. So my money bought a year, a bought a year of life for uh, for my little buddy, man. Uh, you know, so, I mean, that's probably the biggest, the biggest example I can give you, man. And, and you know, get sick, you, you, get sick. And, and your insurance doesn't cover, doesn't cover, or, or or the meds that you need, and the copay is is in an outrageous amount. The copay is six seven hundred dollars uh, for the pills that you need to sustain life, and you don't have it. You you can't pay for it. Okay, you running out. You're gonna run out of time. You didn't have the money to buy that time. So you're going to die. You're going to pass because you couldn't buy that time, man. Everything is time. And, and, and time is for sale. Especially as the world becomes more and more advanced. As the world gets smaller and smaller. As we become more technological. As we move like toward extending human life to, you know, maybe a couple of hundred years. It's going to cost money, man. Uh, you know, you're going to want to be, be your kids born and you want to clone their heart or whatever. That's not going to be covered on your insurance. You know, that's going to be for the people that can buy that time. You're going to be able to buy that time and extend your life maybe another 25 years, 50 years. Who knows? But uh, yeah, man, time is for sale rich people buy time if you think that you can't buy time you're broke you're broke and your spirit is broke and your soul is broken you have a broken mentality and i don't see you getting out of the matrix i don't see you getting out of getting off that 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 that, that, that hamster wheel because you have already succumbed to the fact that uh you know oh i gotta work 40 years i gotta work 40 years and then i can retire you work 40 years, you retire, you beg for your little pension, you'll be dead in two years. Is that living? Not to me, man. Not to me. What You you couldn't buy any time because you were broke. Uh, uh, it's just everything, man. Everything is time. And everything is aimed toward buying more time. I mean, even these things that are that 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 are going out of hand with the prices and all that that are crazy that you can't get are, are time. Like look at this. Look at the the apex predator. What is this? This is a, a symbol of time. This is an instrument of time telling. It's an instrument of time telling, right? Or you want to mark a time in, in 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 your life like, "Oh man, I just closed this great deal." I want to get a Rolex. Oh man, I just did that. Uh, you know, I just got married. I want to. I want. I want to get a Rolex too. Uh, you know. Oh man, I just did this in my job. I advanced. I became this and that. You know. I want to. I want to actually. You know, accentuate this time in history. I want to capture this moment in history. 
with a beautiful time piece. So you are buying that time again, again. And, and you know, rich people buy watches right now. Now, more and more people have gotten onto the bandwagon of Rolexes. That's why it's become, and they really haven't ramped up the production. So it's become where you can't really get a stainless steel piece uh, anymore. You can't just walk in and get it. Why? Because not that they're cheap, right? Not that a 10, 11, $12,000 watch is cheap, but in the range of watches, it, they are affordable. So they're more accessible uh, to maybe, you know, mid-level management, right? You can't, you can't be the common man and buy this watch. You, you just can't do it. It's not, it's not, it, it, it's not realistic. You can't think that you're going to go out and have like a mid-level manager job or whatever and buy this watch. This is a captain's watch, a CEO's watch, an entrepreneur, a trailblazer. To get this watch, you have to be a king of industry uh, to buy this time, this time. Is for rich people, you know. Rich people buy time. Time is for sale. Okay, you may not. Oh, but uh, you're gonna get old and you're gonna die. Okay, maybe that's right now. But coming, coming, you're gonna be able to buy a clone of yourself, buy a clone of your organs, and and you know extend your time. You know so. Anything, anything, also anything that is an instrument of time is expensive, right? Like, like we already know Rolex, right? We even, even, even like a cigar, take a cigar, right? Which, which is actually an instrument of time. You get a nice Robusto, uh, a good cigar, Robusto. You're going to sit down. It's going to take you about an hour. So you know that, okay, I spent this money on this cigar. And it bought me about an hour, 45 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half of, of just relaxation and unwinding and maybe just, you know, blowing out, letting go all the stress of the day. You know, that's what that cigar has bought you that instrument of time has bought that's why they're expensive i'm talking about a good cigars now you know good cigars that's why they're expensive because they're instruments of time anything that is time related or associated with time is expensive because they were designed for the rich you understand they understand that the number one thing that rich people buy it's time. Everything they do and buy is either time related or an instrument of time. Uh, so, yeah, the next time you go around and you think, oh, money can't buy time, you know, you need to walk into your house and look in the mirror. Or if you're in your car, put down your thing, look in your mirror because you, you, you need to reevaluate your whole life, man. Money buys time. Rich people buy time. That is the only thing that they buy. Everything they do is time related. They don't, you ever notice that rich people, I mean, if you're in a circle of affluent people, then, you know, all of you guys think alike, so you're not going to really notice this. But if you, if you are just a younger guy and you're trying to come up and you're starting out in your career or whatever, it's hard to get a moment with a rich person. It's hard to get a sit down with, with a wealthy guy. Why? Okay, because he doesn't want to give away his time, you know, because his time is valuable. He'll sell it to you either for a that's why lawyers call you got to give them a retainer and then they go on like that and they'll send you fit, they charge you whatever you know, it's $50 for a two or three word email, uh, out of, out of your retainer. But you know, so a lawyer will sell you his time or so you can pay for his time and money or. If he thinks he's going to get some value from you from the conversation, he will 
you can pay for his time like that. Or if he thinks he's pouring into you and he feels like giving, actually he feels it's a charitable event to give to you, you'll pay for his time like that. You understand? So time is for sale, man. Time is for sale. And time is the only thing that rich people buy. Remember that. So if you get, if you get, if you're looking to track down a rich guy and get a sit down with him, you're going to have to buy his time in one way or another. And when you're looking to spend your your money, you know, spend it on instrument, not even spend it because whenever you buy instruments of time, you're just recycling your money, you're investing in it. Uh, you know, Look for look look to acquire instruments of time, because over time they always go up in value. All right, I'm your host Richard Prophet. I hope this wasn't over your head. Just 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 uh, I mean it probably went over some people's heads, but most of you guys out there on this channel are here for a reason, and you're gonna get it. Let it sink in, and uh, you know I'll hang out for a few minutes after this video, and because I want to interact with the family here. If you understand what I'm saying here, leave a comment below. If you don't understand, maybe you don't agree with me, let's talk about it. I'm here to talk about it with you. I'll hang out for a few minutes and we'll talk about it. So remember, rich people buy time. You can buy time and time does buy happiness. Remember that. I'm your host, Richard Prophet. This is the Prophet Rolex and Real Estate Channel. This is an instrument of time, the apex predator, the most expensive yellow gold piece Rolex makes. I bought this and it makes me very happy. <laughs> All right, everybody. Cheers, family.